add some carries onto this game, we will have to see, because of course, projects are rated higher than Sangle, and we'll have to see if that rating proves true. Yeah. By the way, I just I just remembered, last time we casted Sangil, I checked how, how to say how are you in Turkish as well. Oh uh, yeah, you want that now? It was, okay, so, hello, how are you? It was like, merhaba kardeş, nasılsın? Something like that. It should be something like right. that. I wasn't oh, sure oh, so. oh, oh, yeah, 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 it is how, like that, how, it how is much, like, how I got much it. How you're about to get in the chat is going to be That's awesome. the decider yes, yes, for yes, us. Yes, 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 <laughs> I got it. <laughs> right. I'm glad, I'm glad that it's not two English girls that's doing this, because we would stumble over Turkish and, like, oh, kind of trip you over know, each Bulgarian, and every word. Bulgarian and Turkish are nothing alike, really. They no, are. no, but you can, but you still have to roll R's in Bulgarian, you rarely have to do that in English. And it's like that sort of accent at the back of your throat. You oh, don't ever have to do that in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you guys can only speak one language. That's it. Like yeah, you you yeah. can speak languages that are connected to Latin. Nothing outside yeah. of that. Oh, all right, all right, Tedro. It's, it's, it's all right, all right. Okay, I've heard enough. <laughs> what? Uh, it's all right. I, I've heard enough about why my language is inferior. <laughs> no. Uh, have to see how. To be fair. Oh, well, someone. Someone said that uh, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Turkey have the same origin, which was that Ottoman? The origin? That that bro, that that is not true. I don't know who told oh, us. That's not true. That, oh, that right, is okay. just not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have changed. We have changed the name of the um, stream. If you just refresh, it should update for you guys. Um, for some reason it won't update live. Um, I don't really know how to fix that to be honest. Um. Yeah, hopefully it'll be fixed soon. Speak Turkish. We can only repeat the same sentence over and over again, and even then, I don't know if I can do that sentence. So it's yeah, a bit of a boring. No, I can, I Turkish. can, I can swear in Turkish, big time. That, that won't help, Ted. Big time, good but casting. yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help. I, I can't say a lot of things. I, I know, merhaba kardeş, nasılsın? I know baklava, and that's it, in Turkish. And I know how to swear, but that doesn't yeah, work. Like we can't. We can't swear on broadcast, Ted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you. So, and so, and so kebab. Yeah, kebab, but we don't... Oh, and kebab. With... Everyone has kebab. Yeah, yes. but... Even we, I can do kebab. We, yeah. we don't say kebab in Bulgaria. You know, I think... I think... Everywhere kebab is kebab, despite of Bulgaria. Really? To us, the only place I've ever had a kebab was in Bulgaria, from, um... Along that uh, street in Star Zagora, there was a um, yeah. stand that did it. Do yeah, you know uh, how we call really it? Really nice. Oh, what do you call it? Duner. Yeah, I can't even begin to try and pronounce that. <laughs> 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 uh, but we are ready, ladies and gents. Project X and Sango have begun on Vertigo. As Sango, they will be starting as the aggressors. Project X on the city side. Yes, they're taking. Oh, I was about to say that Sango were taking more of a defensive approach, but. They're making a lot of noise. To oh the sack. Oh. Let's see if it pays off. Let's see if it pays off. But now that is just Sergey's wiped off the well wiped off the map to kick things off. Of course, any second now we're gonna see the six Shushi come on through. The smoke's deployed. The push comes out. Sango. Let's see if they can take this site. Psycho, good for one. Not quite for the second. As fast is gonna shut him down, and the man advantage goes in favor. And Sankyo. Of course, they don't have a defuse kit to work with, so this is going to be a pretty tough retake for Project X. Now, push goes on forward. Logic. It's going to be sensei full, actually, as Wonderful will end up trading. Toxic shifting on forward towards shoulder, able to find pass, putting it out to a 2 on 2 as Wonderful aggresses as his own, but Major will be able to finish the job. Toxic now, 1 versus 1. Having found Logic Man, he'll pull on forward, but Major comes out on top. Sang will take this pistol round, and right now, momentum is pivotal to Sangle's success as they move on ahead. Having found this first round, let's see what more they can do. For Sangle, what is important here on Vertigo is to just try and start flawlessly. Especially when you're playing a map that you're coming, like they are the overdogs in the series, but on this special map, they are the underdogs. And coming into this one, as you know, Project X, it's without a doubt one of their best maps. They feel pretty confident playing it. You need to start without giving them anything. As many rounds as you win in a row on the back of that pistol, that's gonna be better because it could realistically give you a chance to fight for the map in the end. 
without a doubt. And it's the economy you build around it as well. We see initial yeah. bit of damage as Edge of the first, Immor onto the second. He's dinked down fairly low in the process, but he still stands, which is really the kind of underlying factor there. Yeah. As we see Psycho Hill aggress towards uh, Pit, he'll be able to pick up with that MP9 from his teammate. He'll try to do a bit of damage wherever possible, but for the most part, any just any form of damage done to Project X right now is going to be detrimental, especially when they're two men down. Yeah, and this is just the force. Even if they lose one or two players, Sango, they're not going to be too worried about it, considering there's going to be just a full eco into the upcoming one. And for Project X, well, they go for the stack. They know that they need to go for something like that in this scenario, but unfortunately for them, it is not where it's supposed to go. As Sango, well, last time we watched them play Vertigo, we saw that they were prioritizing this B bomb site every time that their opponent had broken economy, and on buy rounds they were going towards A. So far, they're doing pretty much the same. Now we'll have to see how they fare, making their way on forward. And for those next, they save, understandably so, but for the time being, we'll have to see how they fare pushing on ahead. Again, they attempt to catch out the Ottoman wherever possible, but for Sangle, they are just going to back away, understandably so. They don't need to hunt. They know that their opponents are going to be on a bad buy nonetheless. And with that, they're just going to pull on ahead. Psycho is able to shut down pass to kick things off. Trade from Psycho, not quite there either. They're still back on off. And for Sangle, this will be a relatively comfortable second. Yeah, they, they shouldn't be going for the hunt even. They don't really care if Project X saved these guns, of course. For the Ukrainian side, it's going to be pretty much ideal to have them. Considering that now it's going to be the EQ, but... On the back of those three safe, they could pretty much put up a, a pretty competitive half by, let's say. They could do some damage. This is, of course, what they're looking forward to doing. Sanko, well, at this point, if you're on the T side, you want to build up your economy on the back of that anti-eco. But the thing that Project X have done here is going to allow allow them to try and maybe keep the economy of Sanko not as high as the Turkish team would want to. Exactly, and economy is going to be everything, especially on, on Vertigo, yeah. where the whole map is based around utility. It is yeah. just start to finish, such a big emphasis on util, and for the most part, we're going to see Sangle shift up from Ramblin to catch out the odd man wherever possible. But for the most part, Sergei's will be ready. A Deagle in hand, armor to accompany, and he'll actually find him able to kick things off. He's able to back away, low on HP, but it may not matter. Major will try to spam to catch him out, but he's unable to do so. As instead, Sangul looks to hold firm. Bass deploying the molly. He's gonna re-aggress. And I absolutely love, by the way, the fact that Sangul, they're not just getting between chaotic rotations. They're keen on playing towards that A side. Not even caring that they lost the initial fight. And now that they get Psycho down, Circus is down to only 7 HP. And this round will be just nearly impossible for Project X to win. At this point, it's just a matter of how much damage can they do and if they will be able to save their armors because, of course, this will help them to save some money in the pre in the upcoming one. Without a doubt, for the time being, as that bomb will go on off, that will provide Sangle with a fairly comfortable third round. But sometimes the highlight is that Project X haven't really been dying. Like They've been saving players, they've been holding on to the odd bit of armor, the odd bit of utility in every round we've seen them in. Granted, Sang will go on a bit of a hunt right now. Major good for Sensei. Toxic, he may aggress as well to his own detriment. But for the most part, the Sang will make it free. Their economy, not as good as it could be, but what it means is that because none of them have really died, a bonus will be kind of ensuing now as Project X go for what will be the best fight they can muster. And muster they will. It's AUGs instead of warps, though. So for Wonderful, he'll maintain an AUG and, of course, that emphasis on utility rather than orphan armor. Yeah, as we come to the first buy round of the side of Project X. Now for Sango, it really matters if they're going to be able to shut down a buy round as well. And, well, look at that. We spoke about it. Every time when it's a broken buy, they go towards that B side. When it's a full buy, well, it's going to be the full A execute. But I actually love the fact that Sango were pretty much passive aggressive towards that A bomb side. Look at that. They're storming in on W in the beginning, slowing down, waiting for the first peak, and then trying to aggress on that again. Losing the second fight. Well, slow down and wait. This is perfect. Just 
the fact that Sanko are changing the tempo so rapidly, so dynamically, it kind of leaves Project X to wonder what's happening and they're a bit confused. That's the reason that they're going for these extra rotations and later on in the game, these rotations might come to pawn them as the team of Sanko, well, they're gonna recommit for now. Uh, now, and it's kills either way. Logic Man onto one to Sensei to trade. As it goes three on three, Sergei is very low on HP. A eh? avenue which may be abused by Sangle now. So they look to make their way up towards this site. For the most part, but next they hold firm. And they await these, well, this Turkish onslaught, but instead, there's a bit of a lull. 35 seconds left, Sangle. They've had time to rotate, but instead, they choose not to. Util goes out towards this position. Sensei eats a grenade, landing promptly on his head. As more utils expended, the execution goes out, the set piece goes down, and now there's a site to fight for. Sensei, does he tease a peek over this smoke? No, he doesn't. Well, he does eventually. The volley will force him away. Those logic man falls to the regress behind the side of it, though. Shifting on forward, an engine to trade. And he goes two on two. And Circus on low HP, Toxic, he's gonna be the man to do the damage. If Circus finds one, Considering how low he is, that's gonna be perfect. They have the defuse kit as well to work with, but not a single piece of utility. And Major taking down Toxic, it just should cement the fourth round for Sangyo. Sergius at this point, well, why not just go for the save? 11 HP completely out of the round, Major is gonna take him down as well. And Project X, they lose number four. Sangyo, they're onto a flying start actually. We know that Vertigo is just. Well, I was about to say slightly T-sided, but nowadays it is, I think, strongly T-sided at this point. Just because if you manage to win the fight for ramp control in the beginning on the T, you're almost guaranteed to get a bomb plant. And if Sangyo managed to win enough rounds on the T-side, even if Project X feel more comfortable on it, which I'm pretty sure they will, it might be too late. And yeah, you said it perfectly. Project X with a very bad buy ahead, a shaky buy at that. As for now, we're gonna have to see how Sangle fair pushing on ahead. That's wonderful. On the close angle, will be mollied away as he backs on off. We'll see Sangle get ready for a bit of an early fight. A few shots ring out here or there. Easel goes flying. Still looks to hold and well, Project X, these close angles, it's the only chance they have, but it means they're going to have to tank any utility thrown their way, because he said so, only 21 HP. Wonderful's been tagged up as well, and even though it doesn't look like much, you know, these nades start to stack up, he's down to 31 now, and so as he gets to the close angle, let's see if it plays with an advantage, for the most part, this angle, they turn their attention back around, the execution comes out towards B, and now, as they rise up from pit, Timbal's going to take Toxic's head clean off, and for Sensei, let's see if he can find the first dinks and converts as Major Fool's engine run plot. Spotting off two more as he goes four on two. Sang will go for the plant. Wonderful and Sergei's so last two members left standing. Let's see how they fare. Well, at this point, Wonderful and Sergei's nothing else to do than to try and save, and save their Digos or go for some basic frags. Sergei's, he's gonna save his armor. Sango looking absolutely clinical, and so far, this. This way of approaching rounds here on Vertigo, just whenever your your opponents are playing with pistols, half by force, whatever, go towards that B side eventually. Of course, they're playing the default almost every round in the beginning, but on by rounds, go for the A execute. On half buys, go towards B. Just to have that diversity, just to make sure that you actually utilize that B side. But when you need to get the bomb down, at least. Speaking about the buy rounds, you go towards A, knowing that it is easier using grenades to, to just get onto that after plant situation. And so far, so far so good for Sangyo. They have one five. Now second buy round will come in through for the side of Project X as the AWP and CSA will come in play. And this has been the game changer in many games of Project X. For now, it's going to be Sensei. The first time we see this from Project X, it's going to be a very very tough buy for the man. Now we finally see this orb. Question is, can it be put to good use? And that is really the most important part of this Project X buy. And while they do maintain a bit of a default, they don't peek anywhere just yet. Looks like Immol's going to be boosted on up. Checking for an initial member that he does. Toxic falls. He spurs on some aggression. 
as you still continue to go flying towards this site. They look to catch the player off guard. Wonderful, the soul man's trying to hold his spot out towards e box, trying to do damage wherever possible. But Snades pepper his position, he's forced away. Sankle within the first 30 seconds of the round have a site to work with. Indeed, they do, and now onto the four versus four. The bomb will go down. Flash from his teammate, but Logic is gonna take down Psycho through the smoke. One man less for the Ukrainian side engine, shutting that wonderful as the bomb will go down. And this might be the safe goal. Sensei and Sergis and an AWP on the retake could be just a recipe for disaster. We see that Sergis, well, he was ready for the backstab from Paz, but that won't change things. They're still going for the safe at this point. And Sankyo, they're gonna make it six, which. At this point, for Project X, it's a bit scary because not only they're losing crowns, but they're losing them dominantly. For the most part, have Project X actually been in a round where they haven't saved? Bar the pistol. Like, I don't think we've seen them actually not, like, lose yeah, all yeah. their players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every single time they had a player to stay, to stay alive. And we can see Wonderful, he's died three times for, for six yeah. rounds. Uh, it's economy management, but you need more than economy management when you're 6-0 down. They're going for these buys, yeah. They're doing, they're doing damage, but what good does that mean? Yeah, they need to start winning rounds at this point. Doing damage is fine, but it doesn't win you games. Winning rounds does win you games, and this is it was about time for the first tactical timeout. You go for a first buy round, you lose it. You go for a second, you lose it. Now it's time to go for a tactical, because if you lose the third buy round, well, you've pretty much lost the half, and this is not what Project X want. Still from 6-0, they could come back into the half, but if they continue like that, oof, that, that might be quite the statement from Sanko and Project X. They actually go for the double tactical timeout, which of course shows how seriously they're taking this, and that they actually realize in what kind of a situation they are. Without a doubt. And something I do want to see as well is I want to see Prototex try and take ramp because we saw earlier, especially when they have deagles and they have orps, you know, Sensei with his orp, he was back towards sandbags. When we saw they had deagles, Sergei, he was on the kind of far back on the corner of the ramp rather than actually fighting for it. I want to see Prototex with utility go for a set piece, take ramp control, and then just chill and see where Sang will play because. For the most part, Sangle, they've been playing this brilliantly. They've just been peppering ramp with nades. By the time they go into any angel, they've already got a 50 HP advantage. For Project X, I just want to see ramp control come out and then try, well, with that initial map control, try to just chill out and wait for Sangle to be the kind of wants to dictate where to defend. Let's see how they fare for now. Sangle yet again playing the ramp default, trying to go for the control of that part of the map and Project X, the problem for them is that Sango have been approaching these situations so smartly, so patiently. They're waiting for Project X to throw their utility towards ramp for their aggression to come through, not giving them anything to work with and then just going for the late take. And Project X, they're quite upset about this one because while when you're investing so much in the beginning, you want to get in the fight. The CTs want to get in a fight in the beginning and we can see them re-aggressing but still Sango, they're not giving them anything to work with. And this will come to Condom as the flashes will come through. Wonderful, finally finding the first but what a veil. Look at the damage that has been done by the grenades. Absolutely perfect and well with that is a fair bit of damage either way. However, Project X is still boast a man advantage. And for now, it looks like we're going to see a three-man boost come out from Sal. What a boost that is! And we'll have to see if it bears fruition. And it does pass a beautiful shot. A beautiful 2k oh, off the back no. of that as well. And with that, Project X, they just get white. Wonderful three-man boost there as Project X, they back away. And now a man down at the Sangle. That is definitely a okay. way to okay. start a position. Okay, oh, oh. okay, okay, okay. Fanatic, fanatic, I see ya, I see ya. Okay, <laughs> that's... I, I actually haven't seen this one before. That's a pretty cool one. I, I think that's going to the front page of Reddit. It should be. Yeah. Like, see you guys on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, 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 see you on Reddit. That, 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 that is styling on your opponents. That is styling. Look at that. You just win an entire round on the back of that boost. Now, 
that you've done it one time, they might be ready for it second as they were. I, I believe they knew where it came from, but still it is. Ooh, it is. That, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Sangyo, what a way to win number seven. Project X, of course, on the back of the max loss bonus and the three saved guns. They'll be able to rebuy into the next, but if Sangyo have stuff prepared on Vertigo like that, don't you think that they anticipated this map pick from Project X? And don't you think that they might have prepared pretty well for this one? Yeah, I t t tell you what, I reckon this may be um, this, this may be a maybe a single map. <laughs> I won't lie, maybe a single map ahead is oh, for now. We'll see if there's any much of a response, but for the most part, I just I think Project X have just been outclassed here. Yeah, they they have in this round they have been. Just totally outclassed, outplayed by Sangyo. That's a pretty nice boost. And now Project Dix, they're so committed to fight towards round. But Amor, well, he decides to switch things up. And this is the point where Sangyo, they're in the heads of Project X. Because in the previous rounds, the Thieves, they haven't been so aggressive in the early stages of the round towards round. They've been waiting behind that initial smoke and playing after. This time, just knowing that Project X will try and go for an information play, well, they just go and ham through the smoke, knowing that the CTs won't be ready for it. And they go for the double entry. And this is just a disaster for Project X. They're being completely annihilated so far on Vertigo. And they need to find a way to start winning rounds. Without a doubt. And I mean, even if, you know, even if Sangle lost that round, the, the momentum they must gain yeah. from having a boost like that that works, it's just going to be so, so difficult for them to fare. And... You know, Sensei, he saves, understandably so. What choice does he have? Sangle, they're going to go 8 0 up. And, well, I think this nullifies both our predictions. This is 2 0 Sangle, if ever I've seen it. Well, it really, it really depends. It's really. You know, yesterday when I was watching Extreme on play an elimination game in the Snow Sweet Snow, they were up against Force 10 0 on Inferno. They ended up winning the map 16 13. So. I, I don't want to ride Project X off, but if things continue like that, I I will have to because rounds aren't even close. It's just dominate. Look at that pass. He wants to go for the knife. Look at the way he's jumping. They're totally disrespecting Project X at this point. Resetting their economy round after round, not even allowing them to save the guns. And even on the back of the max loss bonus, they will have to go for a half by Sanko potentially towards the ninth round. Tell you what, if Sangle go go, yeah. At what point is it just over for? At what point is Project X at a point in no return where, no matter what, they've lost the round. All they can hope for us to do is to maybe do a bit of damage here or there. At what point do we just rule Project X out of this map? Well, I don't think this point has has still come. I I think they. The thing is that if they win four rounds in the first half, it is alright. In the moment that Sankyo hit 12 and Project X are still on zero, I'm writing them off. I don't think that they will be able to come back from a 12-3 score. But from 11-4, I can't believe. From 11-4, it is savable, but at this point, it doesn't even look like Project X could win a single one. Like that, and they've just been stopped, out not they? Just rather... Sankyo are vehemently against any form of hope. Yeah. From Project X right now, and it's so obvious they just don't stand a chance. For now, Psycho, Molly's will force them away, Sangle they look to push on ahead, but what good does it matter? So what's available does this matter? Look at that major, just perfect short straight from him to take off the head of the shoulders of Circus clean, and Emmer, he'll double up onto that. Psycho going down, wonderful as well. This is just a complete annihilation. Project X, they can't find a single kill. And the thing is that we've seen Project X before. They're good aimers. They're people that are able to do damage in these rounds hmm. just because they're good with the Deagles, just because they're good aimers. This is what I'm speaking about, these shots. But when you find a shot like that, even if you find a second, it is already a one versus five. You need to find these ones early on. Yeah, and I think Project X, they've just been, they've been wiped. And, you know, to be honest, Sangle, their CG side, 
can start it and weaken on their T side, but yeah, man. If you win 15 go. on the T, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly, it? exactly. Project X, they can maybe muster four rounds on the CT side. They've got a chance. Yeah, but exactly. I say chance. Take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, it's so so difficult. Exactly. If they win four here on the CT side, look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. If if they win four on the CT side, it is doable. If they win the pistol yep. as well, it is doable. Then, I'll, all right. Because let's of course guess and not forget that actually this is the map pick of Project X. And their T side is better. So that means that they should be able to perform better on the T side than what they're doing here on the CT side because they're com getting completely annihilated. So now they go for the top wall. If this doesn't help, I don't know what could help. They need to win a round. If they continue losing by round after by round after by round, we're just gonna be on for a quick 2 0. Without a doubt, Toxic is good for two though to kick things off. We'll take a bit of damage from the nades, but we're actually seeing ramp control now from Project X. It's working to their avail. Psycho will drift on board, but maybe they'll find him in the smoke. It goes four on three. Let's see how they fare. But for the most part, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a hard push ahead. Sanguine our man down. A scenario that they've been able to pull ahead, but have to see to what avail. Well, let's see. As Zango, they're making their way towards that B side. If Project X lose a 5 versus 3 at this point, I think it's gonna just annihilate them mentally. Let's see, they're going for the boost. Is Toxic gonna be ready for it? He's holding the headshot angle, so he might be surprised by this peak. And he's all on his own. Deploys the smoke. Is he ready for the upfront position of Major? No, Major going for the peak with the flash takes down Toxic. Now the 3 versus 3 Major. Benny now the second shot, Sensei though. To fire back onto pass, that's the middle push denied. And now they can let them plant the ball. Now they can play the retake. As they have the man advantage, they have the HP advantage as well. Major and logic. Can they deny them once again? We'll have to see as they shift on forward. Now plot scenario, winnable scenario, but winnable for Project X as well. They've got enough utility to at least flash them onto site. They've got smokes to, you know, to skewer these line of sights. Major, he'll find a little angle in them though. He's good for one, he's able to stay alive, and with that, it goes two versus two. Yeah, Major's trying to catch out these members on the other side of the smoke. Those Sergeant's good for one Major and a one versus one, dropping down to hiding in the smoke now, as it looks to just make his way around. Sergeant's able to find the first man in the smoke. Does he have enough time for the defuse? He's kind of getting bloody Ooh. close, but I think, I think he, he does. does. Yes. Oh, oh. Project and just like the first, that. But... Yeah. Just like so that. Avail. Project X make it one, but yeah, you said it right. To what avail? They lose four players. Look at that. They win a round. Finally, they win a round after nine, and they have no money. And yeah, they're I'm... going for a timeout. Oh. The winning around here actually kind of screws them in the long run because they're going to have yeah. to go straight down to. They're going to get reset if they lose this one. And yeah. Sangle, they know that, and they're going to really look to just destroy this Project X side. They are one round at this point. This one round is what will tell us if Project X have a chance coming into this map. Because if Sango win, win this, it's going to be 11 1. Next time that Project X have money, it's going to be a full eco. If Sango win this one, well, we're going to just see that it was, it was the clutch. Project X, they win one, but you can't just. You can't just rely on winning clutches. You can't rely on winning one versus twos, one versus ones all the time. And the problem for them is that every time Sanko has won around, they've won it dominantly. The first time that Project takes to it, it is fire clutch. Still goes out. Clutch goes out either way, and Psycho will look to hold. Sanko. They shift the ball, so you're trying to do the odd bit of damage here or there. Unable to do so for the time being, though. Disparity and Sangle, they're not gonna uh, force it back away. Project X, they don't take their foot off the accelerator, they keep pushing ahead. Psycho able to shut down Paz, and now the two man advantage. How does Sangle respond? Not very well, and wonderful. Able to hit the hammer home, hit the nail home. My apologies, as it goes two versus five. Engine and major at this point, it is just the 
question is how much damage can they do, not that much if they can win the round, because if they win the round, well, that that just would require a massive misplay from the CTs, but Toxic, he's got enough front position, he's got the first kill, Major taking that one, he's gonna get taken out, but as I say that, there's the mission, Psycho, with a quick recovery onto the USP, and Project, Project X, they make it a second, they save the double wall, Sango still with money for days, but for Project X, this might be a bit of a silver lining. I worry it is, I do worry it is, but... They can take it 9 6. They're going to be in a very comfortable position. Yeah. Sangle, though, they are just oozing momentum right now as they're able to buy up without any worry whatsoever. As we see, more aggression from Psycho. However, this time the Orb of Logic Man doesn't ring true, so he'll miss the shot. Tries to do damage wherever possible, but for now. That's spoken once again. Sangle at tough position. I spawned the player Toxic, he's ready for it. That is such a crucial kill to find. Project X, they look revived. At this point, a fourth round, or a third rather, doesn't seem that far-fetched. And we said it, if they win four, they are still in it. If they win six though, it's an entirely different story. Then they have every single chance to win it. Look at that, Toxic shutting down Major. At this point, Project X, they look completely aware of anything that Sango are trying. Bad uh, down for the time being. The execution comes out towards B. Wonderful, he's ready for it though. As the initial play goes wide, wonderful, nice little shot. Looking to clean house as it falls to Logic Man now in a one versus four. Wonderful finishes the job. Third for Project X now with Sango. They might be in a bit of trouble actually for this first half. They might, they might be 9 0 down. Now they will be rebuying into reset potential. Not the full one, but still, they will have anything but an ideal buy coming into the next one. AKs, AWP, and Logic, but look at the money. It's just not looking great. They have only one player above 7,500. Or, or rather, above 750, which is. Oof. That, that is not looking well for Sanger right now. They need to try and shut down Project X right here, right now. I worry. I worry, sir. Do you think they can? I'm not sure. I think Sanger might have let this one slip away. Of course, well, Project... They haven't, just... they haven't done so just yet. You bear in mind, it's a Project X 9 rounds to adapt, which really will be to their detriment and even though they even though they did can Sangle adapt quicker can they change their can they change their tune and well Project X they've gone back to this 3-2 setup rather than the Orc solo B with a four man setup towards A and this is generally to maybe to their detriment right now Sangle with ramp control but here's the adaptation they've got a player on the flank now Sensei flashed out of position it's passes a volley actually to finish him off and well Sangle this is something to worry about they were trying to catch them by surprise running through the molly. Oh, but look at the position of Major. He has such an upfront angle to work with. And at this point, they just need to find one kill. But look at Major from the backstab getting the first, getting the second. How is this possible? Project X, they just crumbled. They had no idea that Major is in CT spawn. I think they just left middle when they forgot about it. That was it. That was the adaptation. Sangle, they realize that Project X have started taking ramp control, so they respond with some form of attack of their own, that being towards mid. They find 10, and they force Toxic a wonderful down to another save. Again, Project X, even though they had a spear around, they weren't able to make it comfortable, as we see the orb back off, as will the AUG, and both guns that are going to be pivotal to a success in future rounds, if they can hold on to it. This round shouldn't should have been impossible this round should have been impossible for Sanka, but major with the clutch play from middle that was massive that that could be what wins them the half and of course what wins them the map because Sanka, they're 10-3 up they will need one more round victory to get 14. at this point being 9-3 up it is a different scenario than being 9-0 up 
11 4 will be more than enough for Sango at this point. If they win this one, uh, Project. Right. So 11 4, yeah. that gives Project X a chance. Yes, it does. Sango, but they want more than that. Yeah. It does though, but still, if Sangya win the pistol, being 11 4, it becomes really hard. So for Project X, it really counts now. If they win those two rounds and they make it 10-5, alright. If they make it 11-4, alright. Still, it is fine. But if it's 12-3, well. <laughs> now, it's going to be saying once again with control towards the round. So, I guess it's about to smoke the damage. But, Brodo Tex, they seem to have... When they won rounds, it was because they fought for ramp, and now they're yeah. not. As, you know, pressure comes out, Irmore shuts down Psycho, pull up, push goes through, and, you know, there's the odd bit of name damage here or there, but what good does it do if your team's just bolting, falling and boltering? Sergei's in the grass on his own, good for Major. He's got players to worry about on either side of him, though. And Sergei's able to line up second at that. Wonderful, though, only 22 HP as he's forced to back away, and with Toxic on the flank, what good will it do? Well, a fair bit. Engine falls, 1v2 for Paz, a winnable situation, but will he win it? Bomb has been dropped, Paz though, just hiding towards sandbags. At this point, he could wait until there's like 20 seconds on the clock and play then, simply because he wants them to start getting anxious and watch their backs. He wants to isolate two one versus ones. You know, he wants someone to make a mistake, and that's exactly he's trying to do here he's trying to force them to make a mistake and he might have a pretty clean opening onto the first if he's ready for it though gets the first pass goes for the second and just like that sankyo make it 11 pass what oh. a clutch that was christ and pass he's been having a pretty quiet game as well he just showed up that that right there in my opinion at least is that final nail in the coffin for this map. Project yeah. X, that must shatter both their morale, their economy, and their momentum. The Sangle with an 11 3 lead. It's a re aggress towards Pit Logic Man, brings that shot wherever possible. Toxic himself looking to go a bit aggressive, but it may not matter. It's just past Zero, right? Past Zero. Yeah. Look at that from Mimmer, just taking down Psycho early on Logic to follow up on Toxic. Wonderful, good only for one end. Peter, I feel like Project X, well, it was a silver lining. They're about to lose number 12, unless for Sensei goes huge. He's been so quiet on this map so far, and he needs to win this one for his team. Without a doubt. And yeah, Sensei is forced away, but Paz is still going to remember this. So, guys, one versus four. I think what can he do here? He'll push on up from mid. He'll look to do a bit of damage here or there, but... He doesn't bear any equity in this round, and Sangle know it. They get aggressive positions towards mid. They get ready to fight him, and the Sergei just shifts around the corner to look for the odd mid flank, but he's looking in the wrong place. He's running out of time, and frankly, he needs some kills and fast to even have hope here. Well, the problem is that he realizes he's in a one versus four. Unless someone makes a massive mistake, he should have no chances to win this one whatsoever. And they're not. They're just not moving the muscle. Engine taking his head clean off the shoulders. A Sankyo, they make it 12. And, well, as I told you earlier, this is the point Sorry. where I tell you, this is going to all in favor of Sankyo. Yeah, um, dear Christ, this has been a game and a half of Sankyo. And, you know, we talk about how, you know, messy product takes the CT side of it. But credit where credit G for Sango, they've been exploiting it to a masterful extent. As, you know, Project X took them nine rounds to adapt, it took Sango only three. And with that instant flank towards mid, they just spray around and with Project X just could not recover from it. You know, this is the moment when playing against experienced players comes in hand. Because if Sango take matches seriously, and I can assure you that this being a playoff stage, they are taking it seriously. They're preparing for their teammates, you know, for their enemies. They know exactly what Project X want to be playing. They know exactly what Project X could could feel comfortable on. So they're like, okay, they want to play Vertigo. They're comfortable on Inferno. Let's let them play Vertigo. Pick Inferno just to make them like think. Just to give them that false sense of security. Just to make them think that they're actually going to win this one too. And shut them down on their map picks. Shut down their mentality. 
and at this point it has been working let's see though if they win the pistol well this might be ugly in the end Land out and for pro check so shift off forward towards b the one site actually which shang saying don't really have much of a position in so for the time being this could be perfect for them as smokes go down util goes out paz he realizes that there are going to be players coming his way but for the most part he plays it like his retake Instead, holding the angle, he spots the players cross, doesn't get a kill, so what? They'll hide by E-Box. Instead, it's Mage Rash to find the initial kill. The nade lands on Psycho oh, to try and just finish the job, and it's just a collapse. All on Sensei, one versus four, can't even find one. Engine finishes the job, Sangle make it 13, and with that, Project X, they falter so, so hard here. They don't even get the bomb plant, and they're out of tactical timeouts. This is just a disaster. Sankyo, well... They have prepared for Vertigo. We can see they have prepared. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly what's happening. Their aim is on point. And Project X, they need to go for the eco, which is going to be painful because Sango, they're going to make their way up to 14, whereas Project X, they're going to stay on three. Uh, yeah, and you know, these eco players are just a chance to bump some cash. You all know that. It goes up close to personal with that MP9 as well engine. And with a well time flash, it might be a chance to just farm some of the because why not? For the most part, engine is ready for the player to jump on up and he may be gifted just that. He'll drop down. It's messy. And actually, Sensei finds him. He'll be able to pick up that MP9, but Major's nade will just kind of ram it home as Project X still a man down. Clocks to their name. What can they do? Sango looking forward to making the 14 and now I'm worried about them. Now I'm worried because as you know ladies and gentlemen this isn't the group stage. This is the quarterfinals which means if you lose you're out. If you win you go to the semis. And for Project X there's not gonna be any second chance. This might be the last time that they're playing Vertigo in this entire tournament and this might be not the last but their second to last map in the entire tournament if something doesn't change quickly. Project X, I think at this point for them, what is important is to try and stay calm before map number two, because we said Inferno is a map that they like playing, but if Sango are just half as good prepared on Inferno as they are here on Vertigo, it's gonna be another one. Yeah, that, that. Yeah, well, actually, uh, that does not respond as Psycho swings on him there. Instead, it only has to finish the job on these two members. Majors get a final say in the matter. And with that, Sango they make it 14. And, you know, it, it, I'm confused. I really am. By Project Texas, that pick of Vertigo. We know Project Texas are good on it, but what does that matter when you know your opponents are equally as strong? Surely, in your first, because you have that first map advantage, why don't you pick a map that you know you're good on? And you know your opponents aren't like Mirage, for instance, or maybe um, even Inferno to the point where, you know, even though we're saying they're good, Project X know that they're going to be a lot more confident than Vertigo. Sure. The, the thing is that Sango have completely changed their approach to the game. We saw on the T side, they're just they're just revived. We saw even this three-man boost. This boost just shows that they have prepared for this one. They are ready and. Project X, I kind of understand it because they know they have played Sango on, on Vertigo. They have watched Sango play Vertigo. I can tell you for a fact, Sango, they've changed a lot. Just, they haven't become better on the map necessarily. They've adapted so well to the approach of Project X. They just know how Project X play Vertigo and they're playing the exact counter of that. And so far, it has been looking great. This is just the anti strat coming in. Huge and clutch for the side of Sango, 14 to 3. And if Project X w lose this one, well, we might be looking at a 16 3 on their own map pick. So it might be just that, an absolute collapse onto this site. There's no real response oh, though, no. actually. As the spray down from Immol will suddenly bring it down to a 2 on 2. That plant goes through, and then we'll be able to cancel it out. Looks like he might be able to do just that. Toxic aggressors, no one can down one of his own. Immol now, 1 versus 1. What good will he do? Shifting around the corner, spots out the player, able to win the one versus one. And Bro. just like that, Spangle, they hit 15. And this guy, this They're guy. How? How do you win it? Like, it's a two versus four, grenades all over the place. He just swings out the smoke, 
kills the first with body shots, spray transfers two headshots on the second, and finishes off the last two. This guy's just insane. Immort, he's been such a beast for this entire tournament. And he just continues to show. On the D side, I, I continue saying that. Immort, on this level of CS, the tier 3, the tier 2 CS, he's one of the best entry fraggers on the D side, and one of the best clutchers on the C side. He's just a monster. And Project X, well, they're down 3 to 15, and at this point, I don't really think that they have a chance to fight. Me neither, to be honest. Let's we'll see what they can do pulling ahead, but for the most part, you know, what good does it do? Project X, they shift forward, they got AKs around the board. There's only a little bit of utility that are wonderful. The rest of it's just going to be angels. You can't send angels against Sangle. It just doesn't work. For now, there's a bit of a flash aggression towards Pits just to try and catch out an odd man, but there's no one there, luckily for Project X. And for the most part, they'll just shift up ramp and hope to do the odd bit of damage here or there. And this is just do or die. And that's going to be 12 tour dice in a row for the side of Project X, which is scary. The logic going aggressive towards Sally. He's going to lose the initial fight. Circus, but at this point, Project X, even if they win a round, even if they win two, three, four, are they even gonna stand a chance? Reality is no, I don't think they're gonna find one. There's Paz just down Sergei's. All the push of course comes down as they turn their attention back towards this B site. Immort looking to hold for the time being. I just shift ahead. Spot out that initial player, have shut down top, he'll turn back around. So he's a second man, it drops the smoke of his own just to try and hold for the time being. Good for another Sensei to trade though, Paz in mid on the wonderful. Leaves all on Sensei in a one versus two. Well, Sensei with all to do. Bomb has been planted, he's playing the after plan, but Major and Paz, the thing is that. If they have good spacing here, it will be impossible for Sensei. They just need to refrag. Sensei goes for the first. Wins the fight now. The one versus one pass on the other side. Sensei goes, but falls short to pass. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have the bomb just dropped on the first map between Project X and Sangos.